Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and the PS4 exclusive deal. And before we get into that, I want to let you guys know I'm going to be uploading uh, a lot of videos today. There's going to be probably around three to four. And just so you know, just check back throughout the day periodically. Make sure you don't miss one. I know the sub box will probably break whenever I try to upload these videos, so make sure you guys can watch them all. Uh, you should be interested in some of them, uh, you know, I'm hoping all of them. I bring up some good points, but today I want to talk about the PS4 exclusive deal and a little theory I have that might just be true. So if you can remember way back when, in fact, the history of Call of Duty as we know it on Xbox 360 you would know that Xbox has always got DLC first. Now, what could happen is, yes, through this series of consoles, PS4 could have it the entire time, but just think back to Call of Duty Ghost and Advanced Warfare. Now, I know that both of those were released on the 360 and the PS3, and that could be why that Xbox still remained to get DLC first, and now that, you know, Black Ops 3 kind of was released, but it was a totally different studio. And pretty much, if you've seen gameplay, a, a totally a different game, too. But let's go into my theory. So what I'm thinking is since the 3 happened, since each developer having 3 years really started with Black Ops 3, you know, we did get Sledgehammer games, and that's kind of what started it. Although, they could have had like six years, you know, we weren't expecting that. So, they hopped on the bandwagon, that was their first game, alright? That doesn't count them in for three years, that means that they would be last between having one game out and three years later releasing theirs. So, who was first? Black Ops 3, and which was the first game to get PS4 exclusive DLC? Black Ops 3. So, bear with me here. I'm thinking in this game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, like I've already said, they will get exclusive DLC first, and then whatever Sledgehammer throws at us, let's just call it Advanced Warfare 2, um, or the Super Advanced Warfare with double the exosuits, I think they will also have PS4 having DLC first, but whenever we turn all the way back around a full 360 to Black Ops 3, I think that's whenever the Xbox is going to get it, and then throughout those three years, Xbox is going to get it, and then on to the next games where PS4 gets it. So it's going to be a three-on, three-off type deal. I think that sounds really fair, and I know a lot of you PS4 players out there are going to be like, no, we had to wait for years to get this. It's never going to be fair. I, I can understand that too. So who knows? Who knows at this point? All we know for sure is that the newest game, Infinite Warfare, will be exclusive to PS4 and only to the point that you'll get it probably 30 days early. They might throw a curveball in there and be like one week early. I think that would be a little bit more fair in today's sense. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. And don't be on. Be like, oh man, all these X Xbox haters just hate it because they're not getting it now. You gotta think. You gotta think. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you know, the three years thing comes true. And I was like one of the first people to realize it. But who knows at this point. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.